Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Jet Ubacho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a jetatorial. Four daycare workers in Manchester, New Hampshire, including owner Sally Dreckman, were arrested for secretly adding melatonin to children's food without parental consent. The practice came to light in November 2023 after a police investigation into unsafe practices. Each suspect faces 10 counts of child endangerment. The investigation is ongoing, with details on the duration and quantity of dosing still unclear. The body of 23-year-old Lucas Macage was recovered in Rocky Mountain National Park following a significant fall during his Long's Peak ascent. Missing since Sunday, search efforts included air, ground, and dog teams amid severe storms. Macage's body was airlifted from Mills Glacier and transferred to the Boulder County Coroner's Office. He was last heard from on Sunday afternoon, with his vehicle found at Long's Peak Trailhead the next day. In other news, in Rouen, French police shot and killed a man after he set a synagogue on fire and threatened officers with a knife and a metallic tool. The attacker, a 29-year-old Algerian appealing against deportation, threw a petrol bomb through a synagogue window. Although the fire caused significant damage, the Torah scrolls were unharmed. The incident has left the city in shock and heightened concerns over rising anti-Semitism in France. Nearly 900,000 echinacea immune support tea bags by Yogi are being recalled due to pesticide detection. The recall, initiated in March by East West Tea, covers products sold nationwide. Classified as a Class 3 recall, the FDA notes that the tea is not likely to cause adverse health consequences. Affected lot numbers are listed on the FDA's website. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale!